Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome again to the Millisphere. In this video, we'll be talking about the ZK Zinc era airdrop. Now, this is one of the biggest airdrop in crypto. A lot of people are anticipating this, just like how we had the Arbitrum airdrop and the Optimizing airdrop. We're looking at ZK Zinc, and it's among the big four airdrops that are the most talked about in the crypto space. We start there being the number four. There are still more blockchains and still more layer twos that are coming up, and some of them we've handled. Uh, in our channel and some we're still going to handle uh, in the few coming uh, days or weeks or months. Now let's look at how we can get position for this. But first, if you are new to the Millisphere, please hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification icon to get notified every time we release a new video. We are right now on our zero to five thousand dollar challenge. If you want to be part of this, you can sign up to our uh, Telegram group or also join our WhatsApp group or our Discord. We have all the links in the description of the video. If you want to be part of this, there's still more information that we can do that we don't have to really create the video for. We just send the information drive straight to the group and you can make you uh, be a part of whatever thing we are doing right now. So we are looking at ZK uh, Zinc era. So let's look at how we can position. But first, what is ZK Zinc? Now the ZK Zinc is uh, a layer two solution and you can see right here, ZK Zinc era is a layer two protocol that scales Ethereum with cutting edge ZK technology. Our mission is not only to merely increase uh, Ethereum's throughput, but to fully preserve its foundational values, freedom, which are freedom, self-sovereignty, decentralization at scale. Now you can see that they say we stand for trustlessness, security, resilience, fuckability, and also community ownership. Now these are the different things that uh, ZK Zinc represents. But how do we really position ourselves for the airdrop? There are so many things you can read into. Uh, but first thing first you have to do is to know that we have the ZK Zinc era uh, here, the ZK Zinc era V2, and we have V1. V1 is the ZK Zinc Lite which is the first version that came out a few, uh, I think last year or two years ago. And a lot of people have been transacting on it. And the new one right now, which is the one that we can look at for airdrop is the ZK Zinc V2. So what you want to do is you want to bridge into, uh, and I'll show you how we do that shortly. But first, let's go to Chainlist. Now, Chainlist.org is where you're going to get the network settings for your Metamax to be able to operate on the ZK Zinc uh, era the uh, mainnet. Now you can see right here if you come here you connect your wallet and when you connect your wallet you can just type ZK and to bring out the test net for this and the uh, mainnet. So what you want to do is just to get your Metamax, connect it here and then add to Metamax, add to Metamax. And when you click on them you're going to approve the transaction and when you approve the transaction let me just do that right here and show you how you can go do that. So you allow this and then you switch that's all and then you also add the testnet. I'm going to do a video showing you the testnet and I'm going to also do a video uh, showing you how we can interact with live fonts on the mainnet. I'm just going to show an illustration of what you should be doing uh, with this, which is pretty straightforward for you to do. So after you're done adding this, uh, let's go straight to the place that is very, very important. And this is for you to bridge. Now bridging is you transferring a, a particular asset from one network to another. So what we are doing is, if we are trying to get uh, Ethereum, which is the main net Ethereum, we are trying to see how we can get it into ZK Zinc Era's uh, network so that we can use it to operate. You cannot operate using the main net Ethereum on ZK Zinc. You have to bridge it into the ZK Zinc Era network. And that's what we're gonna be doing, uh, I will show you here. So the first thing you wanna do is to go to your Metamax and copy your address, go to an exchange that you have. It could be Binance, it could be KuCoin, Bybit, OKX, anyone you use, Coinbase. Go there, buy Ethereum on that particular exchange and then send it to this wallet that you're going to connect to the ZK era. So when you've connected that, uh, it could be $20, $50, depending on how much you can afford. You come here and then you type in the amount you want to bridge and then you click on deposit. So it's going to tell you the amount that you support that you, you are going to receive, which is equivalent to exactly what you put here, but it's going to charge you a gas fee. And that gas fee can be upwards of $5 to $10, depending on the network activities at that particular day. Now, once you bridge it into the network, which should take about a few minutes, you will have your Ethereum available in 
the ZK Zinc era. Mind you, it's still going to be Ethereum, but it's now under the ZK Zinc era uh, uh, mainnet. So you can go ahead and explore the ecosystem, which I'll show you how to do that shortly. But if you can't bridge, maybe the transaction fee on the ZK era official bridge, which this is the official bridge, is high, it's kind of high. What you want to do is you want to use orbital.finance. Orbital.finance, you can bridge any uh, uh, blockchain right here, uh, any network that you decide to use from especially from the main net, you can see it right here. You can bridge from to ZK Zinc Lite, you can bridge to Polygon, you can bridge to Arbitrum, Arbitrum Nova, Loopring, Optimism, Immutable X, uh, Immutable X, and um, Starkness, BNB Chain, anyone that you decide to. But we're going to pick the ZK Zinc era because that's what we're interested in doing. Now, if you click on the Ethereum right here, you can see that 0 0.1, 0 0.018 is going to give you 0 0.1 ETH in ZKZ era network. So I don't have uh, any fund on this uh, wallet because I'm using it just for illustration. Uh, if I had that, I would bridge it quickly right now. And what I would advise you to do is if you're having difficulties with the main bridge right, we are here, you can just come right here. The fees are always lower and it's very fast to bridge on this particular one. So once you bridge here, just for the sake of you know doing uh, what we need to do, uh, you will get your it in the ZK Zinc era here. Now, after you're done bridging, you will now go and explore the ecosystem. So let's go to the ecosystem. So now these are the different dApps on the ecosystem. And previous airdrops have shown us that if you interact with different eco uh, dApps on an ecosystem, and also the number of transactions and the volume you have, can give you, you know, can qualify you for more opportunities and airdrop. So you can use any of the dApp that you see here, but I'm going to give you two dApps that uh, you can get started with and then you can spot the rest on your own. So let's go first to the NFT, uh, you know, page. And this is Mint Square. So if you come to Mint Square right here, Mint Square, you can just switch your network to ZK Zinc era and then you connect your wallet and when you're done connecting your wallets, you can explore this place here. So you can buy any of the yeah, NFTs you see here. So there are still a lot of NFTs on uh, on the ZK Zinc, you know, era, you know, network. So let us click on this. You can see this one, Alien ZK NFT. And you can see this is the floor price, which is 0 0.001, which is kind of very cheap. Uh, you can just explore it, you can buy one of these NFTs just for you to get a transaction. And you can buy it and you can list it also. So this is on mainnet right now. So let's go back uh, to, you can check out different ones that we have here. Uh, we can see there's uh, the baby apes, we have the childhood dreams. You can click on it and see how much this is what with 0 .0, uh, 0.007 for the floor price. And you can pick anyone that you're interested in, especially the ones that are at the floor price. So uh, buy this and then you have done a transaction on this. Now, after exploring Mint Square, let's go to Zinc Swap. Zinc Swap is the official DEX of uh, ZK Zinc. And this is right now trading on, you know, uh, it's the, you have live tokens trading right here on this DEX. So you can switch to the main net and also there's a test net and I'm, and I'm going to show you how to do this. So if you watch the video for the test net is out, you'll be able to know how to do all these transactions properly. But if you follow what I'm saying in this video, you'll be able to get it. It's straightforward. So right now, what you want to do is you want to come straight to trade and you like, if you have your ETH, you can bridge. I mean, you can swap. This is not a bridge. This is a swap. So you can swap from you know, depending on the Ethereum you have, you can swap 0 0.02, which is like 3.4 USDC. You can just swap it to USDC uh, and then, you know, approve the transaction. The gas fee is cheap and also you get a refund on uh, your gas fee. So you can bridge, maybe you can charge you $1 or $2. And at the end of the day, what is going to use for the transaction is just going to be maybe uh, 50 cents. So it's going to refund you the many 50 cents, depending on how much you were charged at first. And that's one thing I love about the Ethereum, the ZK Zinc uh, network. So right now, once you're done making a, a swap here, you can go to the pool and also provide liquidity. 
to the pool you can choose any one of these pools you know if you have if you've made a swap on your existing it you can just uh, make a transaction and deposit in one of these pools you're going to be earning this uh, apr on liquidity you decide to provide in the pool so uh once you're done making this transaction you can you can explore some other things that are on this uh, uh you know that now once you're done with this tool, you can go back here and check out any other DAP that you're interested in and make any of your transactions that you decide to, to do. I'm still going to do more videos to show you this, so uh, I'm going to post how we can do some transactions on the group. Now, this is everything you need to know to get started for this. Also, once you're done with all these transactions, uh, what you like to do is make sure that you follow the right channels so you can go to their Twitter. This is the official Twitter handle. Make sure you follow them and make sure you follow us also. Our profile is at the middle sphere right here. You can follow us and also you can just uh, make sure you follow the right channel. And then if you go to the main website here for ZK Zinc, you can see that they have their Discord, Telegram and Twitter. Make sure you follow the right channels to get authentic information. There are a lot of scams out there that are going to allow you to connect your wallet to their platform so that they can siphon your funds. Make sure you stay in the right pages all the time. Now, this is so far what I can cover here. I'm going to do a video for the testnet and also I'm going to do it with a live phone showing you how to go about doing this. Thank you for being here with me. If you found value in this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and then turn on the notification icon to get notified every time we release a new video. Thank you for being here with me and I'll see you in the next one.